What's the trouble, officer? Do you have any idea what you did back there? Uh, well, I wasn't speeding, and I'm pretty sure I used my turn signal. I don't know, what did I do? You failed to come to a complete stop at that stop sign back there. Oh, that. <laughs> well, I mean, I slowed down. I'm going to have to ask you to step out of the vehicle. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Humor me for just a second while I ask you a simple question. All right. Ow. Ow. Hey. Do you want me to stop or slow down? Back to Project Failblazer. In this video, hopefully by the end of this video, we will have the uh, steering rack removed off of the parts truck and onto our good blazer, and then have the power steering components all hooked back in and uh, get that system working the way it's supposed to. And then we're gonna look at uh, the air conditioning and uh, we're gonna test to see if this compressor still works. If it doesn't, we're gonna go ahead and go after the air conditioner compressor off of the parts truck, get it swapped over, and then take care of that. I hope to have that done in the evenings this week and then by Saturday with that stuff being done we'll go after the suspension parts and we'll get all the suspension back up under this truck and uh, basically get it drivable again tonight is the rack and pinion so let's get started Okay, I'm getting ready to install the steering rack. You can see the main bolt line up right there and right here. This is uh, the power steering lines and then we've got the steering knuckle back up in here. So I need to line up that with these bolt holes here and down there. Should prove to be a little bit uh, tricky uh, doing this by myself, but I'm gonna attempt to do so. steering rack is in. This little extra jack that I had was helpful to hold up the passenger side while I got the bolt in for the driver's side. I just have it in with the long bolts right now. I'm calling it quits for tonight. I'm, it's late and tired. Got to go, go to work in the morning. We'll finish this up at a later time. That's it for me for tonight. All right, we're back at it this morning. I'm going to try to get the power steering all back together, uh, fill it back up with fluid, get the engine running. 
run the steering wheel back and forth to uh, bleed the system and get that uh, power steering all lined out. We're gonna then go after the air conditioning. Uh, Lord willing, that thing's working, and all we'll have to do is just put some charge in it. So let's get started. All right, first thing I'm gonna need to do is uh, remove the bolt here and uh, drop the steering rack and then lift it back up and try to align my steering box with my st steering column and get that bolt back in there. All right, I'm gonna put the bolt back in, but first I'm gonna put just a little bit of this thread locker on there so this bolt doesn't go back and out on me. One eternity later. All right, I finally got the steering rack and the steering column shaft bolted together. Whenever I first put the steering rack up and I would try to get the bolt hole to line up, the, sh the steering column shaft seemed to be like an eighth of an inch short and I could never get the steering rack to push up high enough to get it to line up the bolt hole. It took me forever to figure out that the shaft itself can move up and down, in and out, and what I had done is bumped that shaft inward and it wouldn't line up the hole. Oops. Yeah, oops. So I took a screwdriver through the hole, the steering column shaft, and I pulled it down was able to get the steering box to kind of line up. Using some prying with the, with the screwdriver, was able to get the shaft to line up perfectly and got the bolt in. So, so it's finally bolted together, so we're gonna uh, go ahead and hook, up, hook the lines back in, tighten down the bolts for the steering rack, and we'll start filling it up with power steering fluid. Okay, the power steering lines are hooked back into the steering box. Uh, it's an eight millimeter bolt. It's a little tricky getting in there, especially if you've got, you know, fat fingers or something. But uh, yeah, eight millimeter bolt uh, into that plate that has the two lines connected to it. And uh, looks like we're good to go. So let's fill this thing up with some power steering fluid and make some progress. All right, now that I've got the power steering fluid in, I'm gonna turn the vehicle on, and I'm gonna turn the steering wheel all the way to the right, and then all the way to the left, and go back and forth, back and forth, until we get all the air bled out of the system, and then we're gonna add power steering fluid as it needs it. Should be able to pop this cap and see some air bubbles. Since the steering rack was just swapped over from, from my parts truck, it was pretty much full, so I didn't have to add a whole lot to the system. Just needed to fill the reservoir, and uh, we'll probably need to top it off. You hear that under pressure. Well, there's not a whole lot of air bubbles down in there. All right, we'll, we'll do this a few more times until the power steering pump quits whining like my kids. There are bubbles on the dipstick here, so it is bleeding the air out of the system, so that's good. All right, so we're gonna do that a few more times after the truck's all put back together and it's back on the ground under its own weight. Uh, power steering pump will work a lot harder at that point, so we'll try that again when it's all buttoned up. Okay, now we're gonna inspect the air conditioning, and I talked to a buddy at my church who's an HVAC guy. He gave me some tips and stuff to look forward to see maybe where the problem might be. I have absolutely no air conditioning. The compressor does not kick on. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to check was, do I have any pressure in the system? And I'm gonna check the Schrader valve right here on the accumulator. 
push in the little pin in here. Yeah, I've got a little bit of pressure in there. So what I think it might be is maybe there's a very slow leak somewhere and the pressure has dropped. We've got a pressure sensor right here that tells the uh, compressor whether or not there's enough uh, pressure in the system. If it's too low, then it breaks continuity and the, the clutch will not come on. So I'm thinking maybe I just need to add some, uh, some Freon into this system, charge it up. That pressure switch should have continuity at that point and the clutch should kick on. Or I could have a problem with my clutch itself. There's a small little test that I'm gonna do here to test if the clutch is bad or if the clutch is good on my compressor. I'm gonna turn the engine on. I'm gonna pull the wiring harness off of this sensor, okay? And I've got this little wire here and I'm gonna cross the terminals here to create continuity. If the clutch is good, then it should kick on. And I'm only gonna do this for like a split second just to see if the clutch even engages. I'm not gonna hold it in there for very long. If I do this and the clutch does not kick on, well then I know my compressor, you know, the clutch is bad on it and I'll have to replace it. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the engine and hot wire this sensor and see what happens. All right, so the air conditioner compressor is this right down here. So this front plate should kick on, hopefully, will kick on whenever I hot wire the uh, switch over there. So if that kicks on, then I know my compressor is good. Okay, here we go. Getting ready to hot wire right now. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm gonna take that fitting off the Schrader valve on the accumulator. Hook up my Freon. Feel the accumulator getting cold. If the clutch doesn't kick on, there's possibly that I've got a bad sensor. There goes the clutch. Just kicked on. Now it's kicking off. So I've probably got a bad sensor right here. All right, so this thing probably is bad right here, the switch. So I'm gonna replace it with the one off of the parts truck and we'll give this another try. Okay, I got a 5 8 wrench. Try this one more time. All right, well, that seemed to do the trick. The air conditioner compressor is working. It is blowing some cool air finally. Uh, I hit the accelerator and got the engine to rev up a little bit, and it started blowing a little colder too. So, got the air conditioner working. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, we got the power steering back together with the new steering rack from the parts truck, uh, and we're able to get the air conditioning blowing some cold air, so I'm, I'm glad for that. All right, what's coming up next? Well, removing the front suspension off of the parts truck and getting it swapped over to my wife's trailblazer, get this thing back on the ground, start driving it again. So, again, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment below. Hit that like switch on your way out. God bless, we'll see you next time.